all the conflicts of interest were mentioned. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, a few months ago I was uh, asked to speak to a similar uh, audience at the uh, Organization of Americas uh, with the heads of intelligence services from uh, different countries in Latin America. And the question I asked myself when I, we were in, they invited us is uh, w what actually I'm doing there. And the first question that they asked themselves when I came to, uh, to this presentation, they asked themselves what he is doing here. <laughs> and uh, apparently uh, the only uh, national or religious uh, community that was affected directly because of uh, them being Jewish in Latin America was obviously the Jewish community in uh, Argentina these days. Yeah. So I would like to especially thank uh, Boaz, uh, Professor Boaz Ganor, our host, and uh, we're having uh, long-term relations uh, uh, with the Institute, but uh, specifically uh, with Boaz. Salman Rushdie once asked uh, rhetorically, how do you defeat terrorism? <coughs> His answer was, don't be terrorized. That piece of advice is one that all of us have internalized. At least, I hope we have. That is the reason behind our deliberations here this week, and I know that you had a very successful day yesterday and have two days ahead of you. This distinguished forum is probably the most professional and well-informed gathering of experts on global terrorism. I do not believe I have to elaborate on the Jewish people's long and painful history as targets of terrorism. From Buenos Aires to Copenhagen, from Paris to Mombasa, in March, March of this year, the horrific killing of Mireille Knoll, an 85 years old Holocaust survivor, murdered in her apartment in Paris, shocked the world. I also don't, do not have to elaborate on the evolution of the global threat over the last quarter of century. You, most of you sitting here in this room, have devoted your lives to combating it. Jews are still in the front line and will remain so in the foreseeable future. At the same time, an ever greater number of countries, communities, societies, and individuals are being targeted by terrorists across the globe. From Somalia-based pirates to Boko Haram in rural Nigeria, from Afghan mountains to the deserts of Yemen, from London stately houses of parliament to the sunny beaches of Bali, from Boston to Brussels, these threats come from many quarters. There are deadly jihadists, but also neo-Nazis. <laughs> we have to deal with well-organized and well-funded terror groups, but also with anonymous lone wolves acting on their own. I'm the CEO of the World Jewish Congress and the International Jewish Organization with a long history, as it was said, led by Ambassador Ronald S. Lauder, the man who generously endowed the school in which we are meeting and who deeply regrets that he could not join us here today. He asked that I convey his warm greetings for the success of this conference. The WJC, the World Jewish Congress, represents Jewish communities, large and small, in some 100 countries, from Argentina to Zimbabwe. Ever since its inception in 1936, the World Jewish Congress has been a political organization, the diplomatic arm of the Jewish people, engaging in diplomacy and advocacy to advance the agenda of the Jewish communities all over the world. In recent years, facing the mounting threat of terror, Jewish communities have turned to the World Jewish Congress, asking us to help bolster their security. In other words, to save lives. The WJC responded by creating a community security department led and staffed by, by some of the very best experts in the field, and some of them are in this room. Here, here is the basic principle that is our operative guideline. In the 100 plus countries in which Jewish communities form an integral part of society, it is the governments and security services of those uh, countries and localities who build the ultimate responsibility and who are charged with providing security to all of citizens, including, of course, Jews and Jewish communities. With that in mind, let us refer back to Salman Rushdie's advice. Don't be terrorized. That, of course, is easier said than done, especially given the magnitude of the threat. In order to bring this about, we have embraced a holistic approach.
For centuries, Jews have been subjected to violence and terrorism. In this century, the World Jewish Congress works aggressively to protect Jews in 100 countries around the world, from neo-Nazis, radical Islamic terrorism, or any other threat. Leveraging state-of-the-art social media monitoring technology, our security experts map and monitor potential threats and share critical insights with governments and security agencies. Communities throughout the world are trained in crisis management. The security of institutions, venues, and events is enhanced, and the advanced use of physical security technology is applied. Our insights are shared with community leaders, security forces, and or government officials. For centuries, we have been terrorized. For certain, today, we're here to help relevant authorities protect our communities and partner to ensure success. As we just have seen, it is based on four pillars that bolster each community's resilience. Pillar one, know the enemy. We have established a research section. Our experienced team of analysts use state-of-the-art social media monitoring technology. They relentlessly map and monitor potential threats to Jewish communities. The communities share this information with the relevant national and local government and security agencies. Pillar two, crisis management. We provide high-level training in crisis management methodology. Our crisis management team has already conducted multi-stage training programs in more than 25 countries and has developed the Safe School program, a unique approach to providing tailor-made crisis management training for the teaching staff of schools and kindergartens. Pillar three, enhancing physical security infrastructure. Many communities seek to use advanced, commercially available physical security technology to enhance the security of their various institutions, venues, and events. We provide them with the professional advice and support that enables them to do so. Pillar four, advocating for increased security support for Jewish communities, but their country's security services. This is done hand in hand with the leadership of each community. A community that implements all these elements is better able to adopt uh, Salman Rushdie's advice and will not be terrorized. As you can see, the WJC does not seek to duplicate or replace the role of law enforcement authorities. We do, however, strive to raise awareness of particular threats facing Jewish communities to enhance and support the efforts of governments and local authorities to provide security and to facilitate cooperation between them and the communities. Indeed, we have already reached out to governments and national and local law enforcement agencies in different uh, countries. Many are eager to receive relevant information, and some have asked to participate in our crisis management training programs and to implement this methodology for their general needs. This cooperation is yielding fruit. In other words, it is saving lives. Some governments have truly gone a long way towards enhancing the security of their Jewish communities and institutions, and towards confronting terrorism directed at Jews. We must ensure that all the dots are connected and the so-called soft targets of communi or communities in countries with little recent history of violent anti-Semitism or terror do not tempt terrorists. We view each and every one of you as a significant potential partner and with some of you we already have uh, strong partnerships. Professional, effective cooperation will help enable us, all of us, uh, to better face these challenges. I must emphasize something that we all know but cannot forget. Although terrorists often target Jews, their attacks are directed at Western society as a whole. Jews, Christians, and Muslims, innocent people of every nationality and creed. Today, people understand that we have a single common enemy, determined to bring disrupt to our life and bring down societies, that all of us are potential victims. It is imperative, therefore, the civil society joined with government authorities to fight against the defeat and defeat the forces behind this modern day evil. I'm saying these words in the week that uh, we commemorated the liquidation of Lodge Ghetto exactly 75 years ago and two weeks before we'll commemorate the liquidation of Vilna Ghetto. And the very fact that the Jewish communities 
in different places worldwide are under this thread is uh, a phenomenon by itself. So I want to say that we Jews will not be terrorized, not now and not tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.